What's up guys? It's Catherine and if you're only here for the little mini art haul that is at the end so go ahead and skip to 11 minutes and 2 seconds. There will be a link if that's not the actual time in the description to take you there. Um, but if you're here to see some mind-blowing encaustic wax melted wax painting well then stick around because that's going to happen. Okay so I'm just starting off here by preparing three birchwood cradled panels with tape and gesso and I just think this part is just so satisfying and I think that preparing your own panels is just a good practice and it makes everything a little bit higher quality because you know that it was made well. So um, I th also think that taping your edges before you gesso um, is just like good craftsmanship and it just is it's just clean. It looks good I think. Um, so anyway, so I um, started off with adding medium to all four of the panels. I also have one larger panel because I wanted something bigger. So I just had like this um, uh, canvas panel and I don't really use those very often. And yeah, probably not going to be using that again, but <laughs> uh, for in caustic at least. But it's just, it helps with absorption of um so it doesn't absorb like your wax as much, like the color at the end, like it's not, not at the end, but like it just works better. Pro tip, there you go. So, and then um, for this actual project, I just wanted to um, like infuse some of the imagery that I'm using for the, in the full project, because this is only half of it. It's a mixed media project with paper making, print making, painting, and encaustic. So I just wanted to use some of the same imagery that I used in the other parts in this part, and um, I actually show some of it right here. This is a this is printmaking's an aqua tint, and then that little bit of like handmade paper on the end it actually went into one of the um, actually on the canvas panel to kind of mimic this diptych right here, the blue. I love this blue. So I'm just like also I found that preparing the images with wax as well as putting wax on the panel helps them adhere a little bit better. But I feel like I just spent most of this time working on this, fighting with this paper. I think that the clear, not clear, but like the translucent, like thinner tracing paper just worked a lot better than like really thick, heavy paper, especially the handmade paper that is made because that's super thick. Now we're just going to go ahead and get into the actual painting of the work. And the color palette that I use is actually the same like throughout all of the painting that I do. So it's like this rusty color, like patina. It's like greens and very like natural colors but with like that teal pop and magenta as well sometimes um, I use it in in oil painting watercolor and caustic everything um, everything that I do has these colors in it um, so I guess I can mention too that this video is actually edited out of sequence um, I put like similar clips together so it would make more sense in like the actual watching but I really was working all on all of these pieces like at the exact same time so I would, like put one to the side, let it cool, pick up one, um, a different one and work on that one and then let it cool and then, like continue like that. Um, so this is like the diptych one. That's just how I'm going to be referring to it. And then the next one is basically like a toilet paper, empty toilet paper roll holder. Um, and I th think that, uh, you'll see it in a second, but I messed it up. Um, I actually didn't even turn it in. I didn't really like it. Um, I think I might even continue working on it, but, um, it just has, yeah, this is it. So it just has, um, a blank background behind to the tracing paper and then just like paint on top of it. And I think what I should have done was paint the background first and then put the transfer paper on it, or I mean the tracing paper on it and then paint on top just because I wanted to expose, keep exposed the line art a little bit, but it's just too stark white. And that was kind of what I was doing the entire thing was just trying to keep, you know, the um, line art exposed a little bit. So, yeah. And then for the, like the toilet paper one, the rolls that you can see right next to it, like has like the hatching, the orange and purple and blue. Um, I actually ended up fucking up so bad because of how much of that uh, copper metallic um, wax that I put on there. This is actually metal. This is metal from Luke's shop downstairs. It's aluminum shavings. Um, that's also in there just, just like an, as like an inclusion. Um, but 
it was just oversaturated with that copper color that it just got so muddy trying to like move it around enough. Um, so I had to actually pull out that little bit of tracing paper and I decided that I was just going to transfer that image on there, like the line art on there later at the end. Like I didn't know how I was going to do it, but it just got so messy. And there is actually still some of that metal in it, um, but just not quite as much as I wanted to. And the reason I did that was because the paper that I made, the handmade paper that I made actually had like bits of zinc um, shavings in it as well. That was from the etching plate that I use, like beveling it and stuff like that. Like everyone does that. Um, I just saved my metal shavings and put it in the paper. So there you can see where I take, I took it out. It's like completely saturated with the wax. I can't use it again. This is the same. Um, those toilet paper rolls are in the background of this image. So it kind of has that, like that similar similarity to it. And so that would kind of tie all these things together. That was sort of like the goal was like to have a full little series of all these pieces and I couldn't always do more with them. So, but this one actually ended up my favorite just because I loved the color so much of it at the end. Um, and then also having that, like the, the line transferred in. So you burnish it in using carbon paper. I like transferred it on and then heated up the wax to sort of like catch all of that line stuff like the graphite so that it wouldn't go away and it's super super cool I just didn't film any picture or any video of like the final pieces um final product of any of these pieces <sighs> bummer and I already turned the stuff in so like I couldn't really um do it anyway I can't do it now because I wanted to have this video up for you guys so I just like it's too late now I can't like do it unless like maybe on Instagram or maybe I'll just have like a video later but um, but yeah, and then also too, something that I would like to mention, um, is that I missed filming a lot of parts of these videos just cause it was so long and I kept filling up my memory card and the camera kept dying. So I was having to change batteries. Um, and then I had the gloves on and they were just completely covered in wax and they were so sticky. And then like my hands got sticky and it was just so much. So I didn't quite get everything filmed. Um, this one in particular, uh, I used magenta at the end to kind of add, because it was getting a little bit muddy too. I added magenta at the end and I didn't film that, but this one in particular too, like, because that paper is so thick, you can see it like where I'm pressing it down and like wax is coming out from underneath it. It was so thick and it was just such a waste of like ink or um, wax too, like just trying to get all that wax out of there, but also keep that image like visible still, the print on there. It's an uh, etching a uh, little etching a bit. Um, yes, but I actually really like that one too. And this is one of the ones that I did post on Instagram. Um, so I do have like a finished product of it, but I just think that is so cool. And then you don't really always get to see that kind of stuff when you're actually working on it. Cause you're kind of focused on one, one spot and trying to move fast. But this is just so freaking cool. I think that is the neatest thing, especially seeing it like 600 times speed. Um, instead of just like 100 times, I guess six times fast. That's math for you. <laughs> um, yeah. And so, uh, the other one, the larger one, the diptych one, uh, ended up having writing on it because that was also part of the assignment. It's like this like mixed media thing. So I wrote, um, statistics for toilet paper rolls because, oh my gosh, I have it right here. So one year, 49 rolls are used per person. That's four, 49,000 sheets um, or like 2.8 miles per person, 2.8 miles per person. Um, that's $140 per year and one tree equals 100 pounds. And I guess by their math, one pound of it, one roll is like one pound. This is like st stats that I found on the internet. So that's 80 million rolls used per day in America and that's 50 pounds per person per year. So I wrote it, I did the math on for this particular one. I actually wrote it the same process, like writing with graphite and then like sealing it in with the wax. Um, oh, okay. Side note, every single step of this thing, like all the process, you use the medium and then you fuse the medium. So like every, after every step, like you're sealing in all your colors with medium and then fusing it together. So like you're constantly fusing and heating up the entire thing constantly. Anyway, so 
think it's like 800. Okay, so if 83 million rolls are produced per day, does 83 million pounds of paper per day? And if one tree is 100 pounds, that's 830,000 trees per day used on toilet paper. So, and then I also have stuff about the bathtub, and that one just talks a little bit about water because it's like this bathroom r ritual. So, um, about 100 gallons are used per person of water per day. If you take a shower, if you take an eight minute shower, that is 17.2 gallons. And so like that kind of comes out to like two gallons a minute. And I usually take like 30 minute showers. I don't shower every day, but like I usually take like a 30 minute shower. Um, so that's 75 gallons. And then like the average tub, which is why I have that like antique bathtub is 40 to 80 gallons. So, and I will see you guys in the hole. That's a picture of all the stuff. Yo. What's up guys? This is an art haul and I am very sorry that I don't have like final footage or whatever of those encaustic pieces that I was working on. Here we go. This is the mini art haul attached to the end of this video. It's my September art haul because I didn't get that many things because I went crazy last month and I really didn't need to and I just needed a couple more things and I'm set. So what I'm most excited about, wait a second. <laughs> What's up? Okay, yes, I dyed my hair purple. It's, um, it's wet right now, so it's hard to see, but, like, how, okay. I love it! Okay. I don't know how well you can even see right now, but it's purple. Okay, so the things that I got, um, are for oil painting. All of it's for oil painting. So, here we go. I don't know if anyone else is excited about this as I am, but y'all know I love wet wipes. Like I love wet wipes for studio. There's just so many uses for them. They even get oil paint out of your clothes. It's amazing. So I found this and these are Gojo wet wipes and they're like studio wipes. And I use like the pumice orange soap. I have it up there, I'll show you it. I use this um, to clean brushes and stuff. And like if you, I rarely use it now because I don't have, I don't have like easy access to like water source and like a sink and stuff. I like, my brushes haven't been cleaned since February, maybe. <laughs> so pumice soap smells like orange and it's Gojo and I got this particular thing from the Napa Auto Parts store. But this they sold at, oh, <laughs> this they actually sold at Blick. And it has a little thing on the top, and you just pull out your individual wipes. And they're amazing. And I was doing caustic, as you know, and they were actually getting the wax off of my hands, which is crazy. Crazy. Crazy town. Oh, and that tub is 250 wipes, and it was like $50, but so worth it. The next things I got were paint, and if you've seen any of my, like, mixing art, uh, mixing art, yeah, mixing art, mixing oil paint, um, mixing grisaille, whatever videos you know, or filling paint juice videos, you know that I use these. Um, this is a gigantic can of black. This is actually bigger than the one I had, which was only 16 ounces. This is 32. It's Gamblin Ivory Black. And now this is a new one that I haven't used yet. And it's Williamsburg. And Williamsburg is made by Golden. Um, well, they're made by Williamsburg, but they're owned by Golden. And I have used um, Williamsburg paints quite a bit. I just haven't used, like, the wire black because I, ha I usually just buy the gambling white and black. But now that I'm running low on my whites and I'm going to have to refill my paint tubes, I got the white. And this box is a bunch of empty paint tubes. And I know this is, like, not exciting for some people, but it is for me. So they're all the same size as the other ones that I have. Anyway, so I got 12 sizes like this and two of the larger and then two of the larger size. So the white, the just pure white and pure black go in the large ones and then the colored uh, gradation, gray scale, steps, whatever go in the smaller ones. So that's going to be a day of mixing. And just a little sample that they gave me for spending $25 or more on gambling. I got a little free sample of Gambar Gloss Varnish by Gamblin. Cool. And then lastly, I have 
And I got some brushes too. I have a couple of these Sapphire. Love these. Love this brand. This is a new brand. This is a Snap angle shader. It's a different size. This is a, actually a watercolor brush, but it's um, the size that I wanted. And then another Snap. It's a smaller angle shader. I'm all about the angle shaders. And then I got two just like, they're called mop brushes, but they're really good for glazing because they have soft, wide bristles like that. Okay, and that's all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I make a video every Wednesday or Saturday and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and I'm doing a giveaway at 1,000 subs and I'm at almost at 700. So tell your friends, subscribe. You guys can have another giveaway and I do really good giveaways. Okay, bye.